Sagittarius, welcome back. I hope you're all having an amazing week. This is going to be your spring solstice reading. So what is coming towards you during the spring months? It does begin on March 20th, um, and it's the spring solstice for the northern hemisphere and the fall solstice for the southern hemisphere. This is how it's going to affect your sign. As a fire sign, Sagittarius is living it up at the, at the spring equinox. It's time not just to spark things off and maintain the spark, but to start fireworks that hopefully don't start any forest fires. In other words, go big and let yourself shine. But don't get reckless. This is a chaotic shift, so seek clarity and comfort in the midst of the excitement. Pay attention to daily routines, socializing, and foundations. Here is a tip for our Sagittarius's. Push for healthy shifts in your daily routines, like picking a workout that fits with your sign, and find comfort in socializing with friends. All right. So with the spring equinox, or any equinox or eclipse, you always want to watch your rising sign. You know, if time, you know, is an issue with watching, you know, readings, with an equinox and a, uh, an eclipse, always go with your sun sign and your rising sign. Always take what resonates. And then in it, any time you would like me to tune in to adjust your energy to bring you more clarity about what you're going through in your life, uh, click on the link below. It'll take you over to my Etsy shop. If it's ever in vacation mode like it is right now, it's just so I can get caught up on readings because I'm just getting back from being sick. Um, but for it's on vacation mode for the world, you know, everyone shop, a lot of people shop through Etsy. I shouldn't say everyone. Um, and a lot of people hit me up that aren't from YouTube. So for my YouTube subscribers, just, um, it'll say contact shop owner, let me know. And then I'll put it in, um, I'll reopen the shop for you guys. Look, regeneration 46. So I feel like there could be something that might have ended. That sparked, you know, um, an awakening with you, a, some sort of transformation. But it's like you're all, it's like your divine guides, who, whatever you resonate with, the universe, they're shining this light down on you. And I feel it's definitely, you're being noticed. You're being attracted to better days ahead, to the light. Anything else for my Sagittarius? And to be fair, peace and harmony, balance in your life with this equinox. And I'm also doing that giveaway for March, 25 to 35 minute readings, two of them. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I do monthly giveaways. Sometimes they're even monetary gift cards. Um, but this month will be two 25 to 35 minute readings. You just need to be a subscriber and leave a green emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of March. I will reach out to two people that I randomly choose at the end of the month. So make sure your notifications are on. But I, of course, I will remind you closer to the end of the month. And for those of you that say my intro is too long, I did a separate reading. I did a separate video announcing the month giveaways and not many people viewed it so I'm trying to make everybody aware of it and if you don't want to be a part of it if you don't like the intro fast forward victory yeah see where there is an ending I definitely feel like there's going to be a brand new beginning that brings a victory towards you here's 10 10 right here but it's almost like where it was dark you're transforming your energy and you're making a victory out of it. Success. And there's door to value. Opportunities coming your way. Blessings coming your way. I love this energy for you already. See, there's that pot. We've got 10, 10, 10, guys. Where you felt maybe a financial hardship. Um, maybe, you know, in a connection where you were on the outside looking in. Sh huge shifting of energy for you guys. Yeah, so you're being noticed for your work. 
This could be work related where, you know, you're suffer suffering in terms of finances. Um, you're putting yourself out there. You're showing up. You're doing the work. You're, you're working very hard to come out of that situation and you will. There is, you're pay, it's, it's paying off. You're breaking free from anything that holds you back. And there's better days ahead in the distance. Right, my Sagittarians. All right. Oh, okay, squirrel, always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. And just, I, I feed the birds and the squirrels every day. I have a squirrel feeder and I have a bird feeder in my backyard and my other half. I always say to him, like, on your way to work, can you just, like, refill everything so I don't have to do it? Because we're both, like, leaving very last minute for work. We never, no matter how often we wake, like, give us an extra time. It never works out. We do have three dogs. So, anyway, he bitches and complains about doing it. This is your thing. Why am I feeding them? Blah, blah, blah. But on the weekends when we're off, it's like, babe, what kind of bird is that? Look at that squirrel. He looks chubby because we feed them. But it's like he definitely he definitely loves it when we can enjoy what's coming around. But I will say skunk scared the shit out of me one day. I guess they're also whatever's left behind, you know, which is fine. They can eat it too. But I just wasn't expecting it. Thank God it didn't spray me. Or my dog. Your energy, the moon. See, it's like where you felt things were hidden. Maybe things were confusing. Um, you've just felt trapped. Maybe seeing things through an illusion. But definitely, there's you're growing free from that current situation, the hierophant. Leaning on those people around you for support, for advice. To tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Helping you look at situations from the outside, looking in, from out of the box type energy. But like I said, I also feel with poverty here, there could be somebody that, you know, wants to grow with you. That has feelings for you and they're keeping them hidden. Yeah, see? And it's going to feel like a wish is granted. It's like rub that lamp right there and the genie is going to come towards you. That, But us being our spirit guides, rub that lamp and put it out there what you want for this spring equinox. Your wishes will be granted. You're moving towards that victory type energy. You're going through that transformation. Allowing these endings to occur in your life. You could have green eyes. This person has very like amazing green eyes. You also could have been dealing with somebody that had green eyes. But it's like you're allowing these endings to occur. You're not seeing through an illusion anymore. Yeah, see, you're ending this heartbreak. Moving past it. A time of savings. A time of holding back, spending some time with yourself, not doing any frivolous spending during the spring equinox. Yeah, I feel like somebody's watching you. Could be an air sign, Sagittarius. We have air, earth, water. Yeah, we have air, earth, and water. 
This also could be communication that somebody's holding back. Like I said, has feelings for you, but isn't ready to confess it. Let's see. Yeah, see, we have the moon and the sun. So like I said, again, where things seem dark, they're going to come to light. There are so many better days ahead for you with this spring equinox. Happier times. Two of Wands. Planning something and moving towards it. You see all those doors that are there for you? All those opportunities coming your way? It's like you're going to have your the luck of the pick. You're going to have, be looking at all these opportunities and you're like, hmm. What's behind door number one? Maybe number three is meant for me. Maybe so-and-so is behind number five. But this is you making a plan and sticking to it, prioritizing. The door, what you're moving towards, the plan that you're putting forth in motion is definitely happiness. Spirit saying you have all the power within you during the spring equinox. Sagittarius to open this door and receive what's coming towards you. It is your time of harvest. You are being noticed for your hard work, for the seeds that you've planted. For some of you, it's going to be a promotion or like a raise. A bonus. Something you're not expecting, but it's because of the work you've put in. And there's, you say, it's like coming out of feeling like you're on the outside looking in. Look at the four of wands in this card. How amazing is that? Those videos always get me. When you're watching a video and the child looks up and their dad who's been in the service and been gone for so long is right there. This is you coming together with security and stability during this spring solstice nurturing those connect connections with the people that you love but i also feel that a solid foundation is coming in terms of a relationship could also be a fellow fire sign here because we do. look the golden egg is at the bottom this is the fruit of your labor twice you are being noticed multiple um, opportunities are coming your way And it's all because you're letting go of what was not supposed to be in your life. And you're transforming. Such victory and happiness is yours during the solstice. All right, let's see. Spirit, please clarify poverty. Why is poverty here? The emperor. Taking back taking back your power, moving towards what you feel driven towards, what you feel is like the perfect opportunity for you, moving towards the future. Why is victory and door to value here? Thank you, Spirit. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, balance, peace, and harmony, being patient with yourself, Things are definitely coming to light for you. You're breaking free from feeling stuck. Wild toil. Oh, yep. Yeah. And look at that. I was going to say wild toil and labor. And look what's happening here. A brand new beginning. There's definitely a soulmate connection within this solstice for you. Whether it be a friend that you acquire along your journey. Or, like I said, a love interest is coming towards you. I feel somebody has feelings for you. And they're not telling you how deep they are. They're seeing you thrive. And they're waiting for the perfect opportunity to reach out to you. There's that transformation. The magician with regeneration. You are manifesting 
what is coming towards you during the solstice and wheel of fortune it is definitely look a breakthrough passionate breakthrough you're feeling inspired in terms of career and work you're being noticed but in terms of love a passionate new breakthrough for you someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on Sagittarius Hi, beautiful. The puppy just woke up. Hi, beautiful. Pay attention to details. With this coming out during the solstice, if you're, you know, if you're signing papers, um, a deed, or buying something, and you need to sign off papers on it, or even maybe papers, papers within work, just make sure you read the whole thing thoroughly. If this is somebody returning from the past who has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on, just pay attention to their, their energy, the, the fine details of why they're returning, what they're saying to you. But your transformation is drawing them in. You're shining, Sagittarius. I feel like you're definitely being noticed by a few people. All right. I love that you received the golden egg. And look how this came in reverse. What was complicated in terms of a relationship is definitely turn it's turning around. Somebody someone's coming towards you because you're very powerful. You're thriving, you're very independent. You're not letting anything keep you down. You're providing this Balancing of the scales to yourself. Making yourself the priority. And what was very complicated at one point, I feel like is going to shift in the direction. Wheel of Fortune is here. I just keep seeing the moon and the sun. And where I put the Wheel of Fortune in the Ace of Wands, it's like somebody's coming towards you. Somebody, there's going to be a breakthrough of some sort. We have fire. We have all energy actually here. So pay attention, you know, with whatever signs that fall within your chart and then what you're dealing with. But in terms of finances and um, security, you're, there's opportunity coming your way. I feel like there's going to be a windfall of opportunity that you're not expecting. Offers coming towards you, you're like, wow, really? You think I'll be the perfect person for this position? Oh my God, is this really how much I'm going to be making? Like it's that type of blessings coming your way. All right. Always let me know how it resonates. And I will be back for um, just a love reading for the solstice. Solely around love. It could continue with the messages that were received here. It could be a brand new scenario for some of you. All right. Love and light. Have a good rest of your week.